What's up guys, it's Jim with Awaken TCG, bringing you guys another One Piece TCG Simulator video. Today we are going to be playing Blue and Purple Crocodile, a pretty much completely forgot about leader from OPO1, but with this new EB support, I think it is a little bit better and might fare well into certain decks for sure. Um, it's been getting better and better as the purple croc support has been coming out since OPO4, but now with new cards like Okamawe and Mr. One, I think this is in a solid position. It's by no means, do not, do not get my words twisted, this is not a great deck by any means. It is really fun and it can actually pull out some games against some decent decks. But obviously, if you're running into the best Sakazuki players in the world, stuff like that, right? This this isn't going to be able to compete there. But it is a fun deck to play nonetheless. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. So, right here, Crocfect. If you have never seen this leader, I wouldn't be surprised. So let's go over it. It's going to be a 4 life, 5,000 power leader. Going to read Dawn X1. After you activate an event, you can draw one card. If you have four or less cards in your hand and haven't drawn a card using this leader's effect during this turn. So basically, you attach one Dawn to lead, and not only on your turn, but on your opponent's turn, you can draw one card. So on each turn, we're drawing one card. So basically, we are infinitely gaining resources with this deck as we remove boards and counter out on opponent's turn. So what cards do we have? This is the main reason I wanted to try this deck right here, is Mr. One Daz Bones included in the EB. I don't think he works in any deck but this one. Um, he's going to be a 5-6 with a 1,000 counter. If your leader's type includes Brock Works, this character gains 1,000 power for every two event cards in your trash. And then on play, it's going to be a draw two and trash one, so already a great on play. It's queen effect with no dom minus, but it's not a blocker. But it does have the added benefit of getting, for every two events, it gets a 1,000 power. I think this is the only deck in the game that could actually really reap the benefits of that, because we can kind of just spam cards and go low in hand because we're constantly drawing out this effect so we build trash really fast there's been games where this guy has gotten plus 5k from 10 events in trash and you know he's just unkillable because this is on your opponent's turn and on your turn so he's really hard to remove right if we're not playing against you know who sakazuki yada 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 but you know against the uh, yellow um red he's he's harder to get rid of um even green sometimes but uh next up here we've got miss all sunday from opo1 making a reappearance this card is a three cost thousand counter uh one thousand power with blocker and then it's on ko if your leader is barack works barack works uh return up to one event card from trash to hand so this is any event card so any of all these event cards we have we can reuse and recycle depending on whatever we need in the given situation not to mention this is a blocker so it's a blocker that draws and gets us a card we can reuse very very strong um next up here we've got let's just go over our searchers uh it's going to be the miss valentine from opo4 basically anything with brock works in its type so even former brock work stuff you stuff you can search with this um really solid uh just two cost searcher and you can play it off trigger so no brainer there and we also run four of the Barack Works event from OPO1. This is just look at the top five, reveal up to one Barack Works type card. Other than this, add to your hand, rest to the bottom. Um, I'm not sure why this card doesn't have trigger. Every event like this has trigger activate main, but for some reason this one doesn't. Uh, I guess they just wanted to make the archetype bad, <laughs> like whatever but uh it, it's pretty good in this deck right we can search our best cards like uh, mr one crocodile okamaway stuff like that really good when it's searchable and uh next up here let's go over our 2ks we have from opia one mr two bon clay it's a 2k 3 4 with don x1 when attacking look at five cards from the top of your deck reveal one brock works type event card add to your hand place the rest at the bottom so as far as Brock Works type event cards, we only have seven, we only have 10. So we're really not using this, but in, you know, in certain scenarios, it can come in handy. Um, we're really not playing this though, only playing it for the 2K. 
Uh, this double finger here is uh, the 442K, right? You can ramp with this. I'm, I'm usually never playing this. Same with Miss 13, Miss Friday. We basically just have 10 2Ks that we're just running for searchable 2Ks, and that's really the only reason we're running them. And then let's get into the tech cards here. We have a one of pudding. Um, you know, there's decks that are going to hoard cards in hand, and pudding's always good. I think any blue deck should just be running pudding at this point. It, it's a really good card just to have, you know, just the silver bullet in certain scenarios for sure. And then we have this new Miss Wednesday, really, really good in this deck because it basically just gets a Resedon back as active, right? Which is really good because we have a couple one cost events like Okamawe and Desert Spada, which are really solid, but blockers are easy to remove, especially low ones like this, so I'm only running two. And we're running four of a cost crocodile. This card is awesome in this deck. We do not have the like anti-dom minus that purple yellow crocodile does so i really only like playing this card out when i'm at like 10 dawn because then it kind of uh you know it negates the effect right once you once you're at 10 dawn you can start dom minusing with this card and it, it doesn't mean anything because you're just going back to 10 next turn anyway so it's still a really good card in this deck the cycle is great um now let's get into our events as far as searchable events go, we have Desert Spada. Really good because we can use this when we have a Dawn attached to Leader. Look at top three, counter out, and then we know what we are drawing into off our Leader effect. So we can make it so we draw into a 2k or another event or whatever we need for the rest of that turn. Really, really solid. Already talked about this. Uh, and then we have, for another Brock Works, Okama Way. This is another new card included in EB. And one of the main reasons why I think this deck is uh, semi-playable Basically, yeah, it is infinite counter if you have any characters on board. Turns any character into a blocker. Really, really broken card. Um, and insane that we have two things that can search it. Next up here, we've got three of Red Rock. So Red Rock's going to beat any yellow decks that like to, you know, play a lot of big mobs and stuff. As long as we have blockers on board and we can, you know, play Miss, Sun Miss All Sundays and stuff, we can recycle Red Rocks, get rid of any big mobs they need. Um, really, honestly, making the yellow matchup a lot easier. This is basically just for yellow. There's other decks this is good in, but like you get rid of a Moria and black in this, but definitely best in the yellow matchup. Then we have four of Gravity Blade Raging Tiger. This card's insane for board clear. Um, drawing off leader effect, right? You're on eight Dawn, attach one to lead, seven Dawn, send back two sixes and draw one. Really, really strong, best removal and Recurring it off all Sunday is really strong as well. And last but not least, we have Gum Gum Jet Gatling. Um, pretty much zero cost events are nuts in this deck because we can attach one to lead, lead no Dawn up, and still draw off of this. Even if we have six cards in hand, we can use this and then trash another card from hand, putting us down to four, which will allow us to draw off of leader effect. So really, really good synergistic card with the deck. Some people run a few more zero costs, but I think four of is enough. And with that, that is going to be the deck list. Um, been having a lot of fun on this list, but I want to show you guys firsthand. So let's get into the first match. Going into our first game here, looks like we're going to be going against an RP Law. Um, I like the starter hand here, so we're going to keep. Uh, Grabbing Blades are really good in this matchup. And we do have a turn one searcher. So I like both of those. And for that reason, I will be keeping. We do draw on the Missile Sunday, which is nice. And then I think we're just going to go the Brockworks event, see what we get. Um, we have no 2Ks in hand right now, so I'm just going to draw this. Um, put those back. And a pass to him. On 3 Dawn, I guess he could play something like a Shariah. Um, is probably his best play right now. He can't actually remove anything, but looks like he's going to attach all to lead. And believe it or not, in this scenario, I'm going to counter out. Uh, because this deck is really solid with, um, I think I will put this here. This deck is really solid uh, when you go low on cards in hand. Uh, basically, um, you, right, you need to be at four cards to activate leader effect, so that is just what I'm going for. Um, and at this point, I, there's no reason to play the Missile Sunday, it's just gonna be a bottom deck. Um, we're just going to swing nine. Might as well just put the pressure on. And then this next turn, I'm probably just going to use the zero cost event if he decides to swing seven. Law does have the kid and killer now. So 
that's a bit of a scary card, not gonna lie. Good thing is we can continuously counter out um, and hopefully not have to deal with it. I'm actually going to probably trash this all Sunday if he swings seven with the Jet Gatling because, you know, when I think about it, it's really not that good in this matchup. Uh, just, you know, free bottom deck off leader effect and then it doesn't get its effect off, which is really not good. Um, looks like he is going to go one on lead. Probably just play a four cost if I had to guess. No, it looks like he's going to just swing six. Yeah, play a four cost. And yeah, it's gonna be the Ein to ramp. Good on him. And let's see if he uses leader effect. If he does go Dom minus three here, he could play like a Shachi Penguin, go back to five. That's probably his best play. Um, and it looks like he's gonna do that. It's gonna be a Reiju. So he's not gonna, not gonna have a lot of Dawn next turn, which is really good for us. And at this point I could play the Mr. One. Um, and I think I'm just going to do it because it forces him to get rid of this Gordon and do, you know, play a little bit suboptimally. Because if he doesn't have another ramp card, he's going to go really Dom minus. So we'll swing six, force out a 2k. You know, maybe this is a misplay playing this. I should just maybe swing bigger lead, but I think cycling right here is pretty solid. Oh, it's actually to 7k. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that's really good. Um... Because basically now this requires double Gordon to get rid of. And if he wants to play a kid this turn, he just can't do that. Um, so really good in this matchup for this reason. Uh, especially when I get more events in trash. This guy is going to be pretty unremovable. We have two right now. If I wanted to trash this with this, I could. I don't think I'm going to. And we're definitely just going to drop this 7 cost next turn. Uh, getting rid of the biggest biggest threats that he decides to throw on the board. Looks like he's going to drop an ulti. He's playing the ulti page 1 version, which is interesting to say the least. Um, I don't think it's great. So he's going to bring... Oh, he's going to play an Otama. Wow. Alright, and that is Dom Minus. Let's hope you have some ramp after that. Because if not, I don't really know what we're going for here. So he does have a Beppo, so... Off of this board, I would probably, let's see, let's see if he swings again. He has no reason not to swing right now. He's going to swing five. That is a great trigger. We're going to get rid of the page one. And then he's going to swing five again, and I'm just going to give him the Mr. Two. And the next turn we'll be swinging six. Oh, he's actually not going to swing. That was probably not right. I already have a target to attack into. There's no reason not to attack. Um, but yeah, at this point, he gives us that. And then we bottom deck Beppo and Reiju draw one. Really, really good turn for us. Now he is at four dawn. And we are still at three life, which means Kid and Killer is not online. Um, next turn, we're probably just going to draw off of one of these Brock works. I'm probably going to trash one of them with this event if he swings big. But we'll just counter out with a 2k if he's not. He'll play a Rage you to draw. And at this point, if he swings 5, I'm probably doing this. I don't want to go down to, uh, I don't, I don't want to go down to 2 life. I'd rather not have to deal with, uh, Kid and Killers. The next turn, if we get a Mr. One, we're definitely playing it onto board because that card is seemingly great in this matchup. So let's go ahead, grab here. We do get the Missile Sunday. Honestly, out of these cards, it's probably our best option. So we're going to play it. Put one on lead. We do the Brock Works. Um, we do get the Mr. One here. We're definitely going to grab that. Draw one. And then we are going to play this. We get the Okama way, which is always fantastic. Add that to hand, and then we will be swinging seven. So as I was saying, he can bottom deck this Miss All Sunday, right? Um, but he has to do something with his Dawn first. And if he ever decides to swing with it, I can just block and I can grab whatever I want. It's probably going to be a Gravity Blade. So yeah. Pretty much, yeah, he swung, that was not it. We're gonna grab Grab Blade, 
Add that to hand, and his board is now removed next turn for sure. And at this point, he's looking kind of cooked. I'm not gonna lie. Like, if he decides the Don minus off leader this turn again, he's gonna go down a lot of Don, unless he has like Shachi Penguin. Um, but realistically, we're not scared of that. Even if he plays a, um, he'll go five. We're gonna make two K. He definitely wants to play a Kid and Killer here. As much as I like this, Mr. One, I'm, I'm gonna have to give this. Um, just need to get cards out of hand at this point. And see what he does from here. He's gonna play the Beppo. Okay. And is he not gonna swing with ulti? There's no reason not to swing with ulti. What does he play from there? Does he play if he doesn't play any ramp here? There's the kin killer as I thought. So he's probably gonna swing with ulti. We'll take that one and then we'll do jet gatling out of this swing. Oh, he's not gonna attack with it. Okay, this guy is kind of trolling. Not gonna lie. So we're gonna do this. Bottom deck these two. We'll draw one. And then from there, we will just swing eight at this one. Clearing his board once again. And now he is at four dawn again, not a lot to work with. Um, although, to be honest, neither do I. I need to get this Mr. One on board so I can start trying to go for game. And with Okam away, you're never really in a spot where you're scared that you're gonna die. That's the good thing about that card. Um, we'll take a five fantastic trigger there. We get a bottom deck. And at this point, if he has a kin and killer, we can just counter out. There's a Reiju, so he's getting really lucky getting all of his Reijus out. Um, because without them, he would be completely screwed. Uh, so we're going to play this guy. We get double Okamawe. I don't need two zero cost events, so I'm going to get rid of that. And then we're just going to swing eight at the I'm. If he wants to give us two 2Ks, you know, good on him. And at this point, Mr. One is at 10K power. So yeah, as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight in trash, which is gonna make him a 4K. And if with these getting in trash, he's gonna be pretty much unremovable by this deck. So at this point, he's probably going to try to go aggro. I could just Okam away into Mr. One and completely counter out. So Rage is really annoying because you kind of just completely remove their everything. They have no cards in hand and then she just... This card should have been leader locked in my opinion. Um, this is definitely the main reason this deck can't even work. Because if this was not a card, this deck loses too many cards in hand to be playable, I think. We'll go five. Uh, this is going to be an easy Desert Spada. Um, we'll start placing on top. Uh, we probably just want to draw the All Sunday uh, to counter out with. Um, and then we use card action, draw that. And then we know we're drawing the Mr. One next turn, which is really good. So we'll counter out with the All Sunday. And then he'll go Zoro. We'll go another five. We'll go May 2K counter. And from there, three dawn, he's gonna go Zoro again. Very interesting. Well, actually, I think we'll give him that. And then Trigger is going to bottom deck one of these guys. Very good. He is now at 11k power. And assuming that's gonna be another kid and killer, I'm just going to Okam away that. It's actually gonna be a Mr. Wow, that's really good in this matchup. It's really annoying, actually, is what it is. Um Okay, at this point, we're gonna play this first. See what we get, we're gonna trash that for sure. Um, and now probably just gonna use all my Dawn to attack. So we'll attack eight into Zoro. And assuming he gives here, yeah, and we'll attack 11 into Reiju. And then we will pass it in. So we're completely safe this next turn. And then we're probably just going for game the turn after if he doesn't play a blocker. Um, sure, this can now swing 11. This is a great card in this matchup. 
But um, we do have Okama Way, so we're just going to do Okama Way 1k. Or we can just take and bait him to go for a game. Which is also a great option. Um, having these in hand is so good. The only deck that can actually counter them is green decks when they run Hody Jones. Because I could just rest your dawn, which is really annoying. Another reason why I miss Wednesday is kind of cool. Because if they play Hody, you can just restand one. And now it's 6 dawn. Um, I guess he can go like double Zoro, swing lead, swing Bong Clay, swing both Zoros. I did just get rid of two. So, the, I don't think he has that. He, like, if he has a kid and killer, we're a bit scared. Uh, he'll go five. That's going to be an easy 1k. No doubt there. Uh, he'll go... This is the one we'll take. Unless he's going into this. Because we want to go for game next turn. Yeah, we'll take the 12. Um, it's going to be a no trigger. And then, we just bait go for game. He should have swung with this last... Um, if he's going for game. I get he has to use Dawn first, but... Is he just going to play a, uh, a kid here is the question. If he does, I'd be a little bit surprised. Yeah, this card is so insane. A four cost anything what your opponent wants it to be. He's going to play another one. That doesn't do anything for him. Um, maybe just trying to do something with his Dawn before he does Dawn Minus. I honestly couldn't tell you. And at this point, yeah, we're just going for game. Uh, does he run rad beams is the question. So we'll go 11 lead. He does not counter out of that. Uh, we have 10, so we can go 12. 12 lead. If he is running rad beams, this is kind of insane. So we'll go here, and we swing 14. Can he beat 14? He does not have rad beams, and that is going to be the game. So yeah, we just beat RP Law. GG, um, which is, I think, considered one of the better decks in this format. And next game here, we're going to be going against a black and yellow Luffy. Um, actually haven't played this matchup yet, but from what I imagine, I think it's not too bad. We get the Gravity Blade in the starting hand, so we are definitely going to keep that. Uh, this is the whole matchup, from what I can tell. Uh, let's see here. We want... They have no removal, which is the really good thing. So I think we're going to grab Daw's Bones and pass to him. We will have to take if he swings 8 here, unfortunately. Um, the Pudding is also amazing in this matchup. Uh, so if he only swings 6, no, he's going to swing 8. So yeah, we have to take... Uh, and then we'll actually use this trigger effect. Ooh, and we get another one. That's really good. So we'll get rid of the Croc here. Um... And from there, I'm just going to search the top five. We will grab, I think it's always Okama way here. This card's just way too good not to grab. Uh, we'll swing five, which if he's a good black yellow Luffy player, he should take. And then we'll drop an all Sunday. And we're able to get one of our events back if we so desire. Hopefully, I mean, he yeah, he can do that. And then he can go into a... A brother, I guess. Um, I don't know if that's the best play of all time, but yeah, he can do that. And I guess if he wants to take another life, he can as well. All right. Uh, I think we'll just... I can't actually get rid of this, but that's fine because I would prefer to... Um, yeah, we're going to counter out of that and we'll grab... I think we'll just grab Rockworks. Yeah, because I think we want to use it this next turn. Okay, and at this point, um, I would love to play this Daz Bones right now, but I think we'd rather play Pudding. So I think I'm going to swing six. Uh, oh, it actually can't is the only issue. Uh, that's fine. Okay, we'll just play Pudding. Uh, redo that hand for him. <laughs> and then we will be doing a... I don't think we want to swing a lead here. Yeah, we want to leave him at two. So I kind of messed up. I shouldn't have attached this Dawn, but it's fine. We'll look at top five, and from here we'll just grab a 2k. Want as many of those as we can get. We do have three now, and this is definitely going to be what we're doing next turn. So if we can, we want to clear out our hand. So we draw off the grab blade. 
He's gonna play Garp, draw the five cost ace, which is fine. Hopefully he plays it out. Um, gonna do the three brothers, draw the Sabo. If he plays that, that's definitely gonna be a double bottom deck easily. Yes. So this is why this is good, because we can just bottom deck these, not build his trash, and then he's kind of screwed. He can do this Luffy effect, we'll just give him a double 2k, yeah. Um, and then we will not be swinging into him because we don't want him to do something like, uh, we don't want him to take the life basically. It's gonna be double 2k, and then with that 5k, um, you know, as much as I'd love to keep this right now, I think I need to just counter out 1k. Um, yeah, we'll just counter out that. And then at this point in time, it's just Gravity Blade. And that's going to be, yeah, story. Story of the day is Gravity Blade. And then from there, we just pass. Um, and if he wants to swing big, we can just go come away into one of our friends here. Uh, and we have another one for next turn. So if he wants to put himself to zero, he can. Uh, once I get the Mr. Fives on board, Mr. sorry, Mr. Ones on board, he's kind of screwed because he can't remove them and they swing way too big for him to deal with. And also, the if I get another All Sunday, she can just grab back any gravity blades I need. So very strong there. We'll play the Ace, which is fine with us. He's gonna swing seven. We'll give him a two and a one. And if he swings nine, we will... Oh, he's actually going to choose to swing with Garp, which is interesting. We'll swing five. I'll take that. Um, question is, do we use his trigger? I think we do. And we will grab... We'll grab the Mr. One. Yeah, because I don't know if I want to use a Gravity Blade this next turn. Uh, and unfortunately, we do have to use the Okama way. So, that is fine. And then at this point, yeah, we're just going to go two into Garp. Go play you. Uh, we want to trash probably you. I don't think we have any use. And then we're going to go one here. Play the Barack Works. We grab, ooh, this is kind of a tough choice, but I think I need the counter in hand. I would love to grab the All Sunday, but we need to grab this 2K. Uh, we're going to draw one. And that is gonna be that turn. So at this point, um, he can't play Moria and take his life in the same turn. I guess technically he could play like a Moria Machino. Um, that would be an interesting play, but probably not the right one. Um, pretty much just wanna put this guy on, if you go to zero, I'm probably gonna kill you type of play. We only have one, two, three, four, five events. So, which means this guy gets another plus. Yeah, this guy will get another plus 1k after we use one more event. God forbid we use two more. Yeah, there's the Flampe, which we knew was coming. It's a great card in this deck. Uh, definitely, definitely buffed it by a whole ton. Um, he'll go two on lead, activate leader effect. What does he have in trash, actually? He has no five costs, so he's only going to put one into life. Um, that would be interesting. And he, yeah, seven dawn, you can't play Moria either. So he'll trash that Sabo, I guess. That was an interesting play. Oh, and he can actually, if he wants to play it out. No, he can't pop it. He needs a life to use. Yeah, unless he plays like a Sabo from hand, but then he doesn't get a buff when I just swing to lead. So, he is in quite a pickle here, which is why this card completely invalidates this deck. Which is why next set, um, Boa is a menace, for sure. Um, Boa destroys this deck, no questions asked. So if he swings seven with ace, I'm just gonna give him a two and one, and then we'll give him the Okama way for the other swing. He'll go nine. So there's the Okama way for us. Um, We'll give him this one here. We'll draw one and resolve that attack. We get another 2k in hand, which is great. And he'll go seven with ace. There's our two and a one. And is he gonna play another ace, I guess? He knows he dies from this, right? There's no way he can live. You need to remove this. 
You gotta play a blocker. If he doesn't play a blocker, he's, he's just dead. I get your 7k, but you can't beat a... What is that? A 9k, so... 19k attack? You're not beating a 19k attack. He'll play a Garp. Don't know what that's gonna do for him. Um, probably nothing, if I had to guess. <laughs> We'll grab and draw the two cost states, so we know one of these is a 1k counter, so that actually helps us out, because now we don't have to play around all these being a 2k counter. Um, and for four Dawn, he doesn't really have anything to use. So I could totally play safe, bottom deck both of these, and just kind of lock him out of playing the game. Um, or I could go for game, uh, but at least from what I've seen from this deck, they don't run any counter events. Um, and he's not going to kill me next turn. I think it's always correct here just to play safe. He has nothing in trash. Um, God. This is a tough choice, guys. I'm not going to lie. I mean, this does not run any counter, right? Like, if this guy was running counter events, I'd be so surprised. I think I just have to go for it. I'd be, I think I'd be bad not to go for this. So, 18k. Can you beat it? He had a lot of counter, <laughs> but not enough. Uh, GG, and we have now beat another deck that people are considering one of the better meta decks. Um, I know I said this guy wasn't a meta contender at the start, but you know I think those are two pretty good showings. Uh, not maybe maybe not the best opponents, but pretty pretty solid. And last here we have a green and a yellow Yamato game. So I think we're gonna choose to go first here. Um, and with this hand, we're probably just going to keep. So on one, we have no plays. Just want to take Yamato off first because if she goes second, right, you can like, if she really wants to go 9k, right, you know, be my guest. Um, but from here, we're probably just swinging five next turn and then we're going to play, ooh, we get the Miss Wednesday. I was going to play the All Sunday, but the Miss Wednesday is actually even better. Because I can get one Dawn up for the Desert Spada if I really wanted to use it. And with the Wednesday, if I blocked with it, it, it wasn't going to get me anything from Trash. So, I guess he could play Izo, Swing, 6. That's not good. So he's going to choose to do the Mihawk route into this Zoro. Oh, interesting. Um, I actually didn't know they ran this. So, um, we will use this card action. Uh, this is why you run this. It gets us just the Dawn active. And then, you know, we could use Spada right now, but I'm not getting the draw off of it. So I'm actually gonna choose to not use it. So, just go no blocker, we'll give him a Tuka. And then from here, uh, this card's not good. I'm not gonna lie, uh, I don't want uh, Gum Gum Red Rock in this matchup, like whatsoever. I think what we're gonna do is just swing big at Zoro and uh, call it a day here. You know, the least amount of bodies on board, the better. We uh, we outpace him. You know, we have way more draw power. Uh, you know, anything like that. So by taking this out, we both have 4Ks on board, and then I'm just gonna draw more than you. And he can't just go attach lead swing because I have a blocker. And looks like he's thinking about this. I don't know why. Um, thinking back, I, I actually could have done, um, I could have just done 10 because Miss Wednesday gets me one back active, but I don't really think it makes a difference because uh, it's still uh, three cards out of hand. Sure, it requires one more 2K, but in reality, he really wasn't countering out of any of them. He's playing Gonfall. 3-4 blocker if your opponent has one or less life cards. KO one of your opponent's three or lower characters. We actually have to be careful with this. Um, this card's not good, but... Uh, ooh, he's, he's going to swing nine here. We will probably... So I'm not going to use a card action. I probably should have, actually, just in case I get another event off this. I kind of trolled there. Um, let's give to leader. We'll start placing top. Um, what do we want to draw? We want to draw you. Um, draw you. And then we'll take that attack. Um, I kind of, I'm not even lie, I trolled. <laughs> I should have just blocked. 
But I kind of greeted here. Now he gets this swing and I don't have a 2k. That's a little awkward. Um, and also I don't have a... I don't have low amount of cards in hand, which is like really not good. Um, I could swing and leave, but I'm probably not going to. I'm just going to play this, search top five, finally grab a 2k. Those were few and far between, and then we'll play the uh, Mr. One and get rid of that, because we do not need that right now. And then no counter events in hand. This kind of sucks. Um, I'm not going to swing. I don't want to deal with an Okiku. And the next turn, we're definitely just going for the grab blade. Yeah, it really sucks that we have no counter events right now. Um, any, any zero cost right now would be great. Uh, Eight Dawn, you can play like a Hody Jones. Honestly, Hody Jones would kind of screw me up right now. Somehow I'm drawing no 2Ks and no counter events in the one matchup where you need it. Um, no, you, it happens, the best of us. He'll go 10. Uh, we'll use this card action and we'll definitely just block that. Uh, no doubts on that front. And I guess he can like attach, go seven. That's not very scary. He'll play a Holly, which we definitely don't have to worry about. And he's gonna go six, so that is just gonna be an easy 2k. And from here, uh, it's really just grab blade into maybe Miss Valentine. Or, no, I, I definitely need to grab blade, so let's go ahead and attach here. We'll swing six. Probably take. And at this point, I can actually swing at lead, because if he does get something, I'm just going to bottom deck it. And he's, he doesn't get anything, which is fine. So, honestly, it might be a better play this turn to do all Sunday into you, because... I want to get back a counter event because somehow I'm just not finding any. Play you and I grab another 2k, very nice. I'm going to play another one. And somehow I'm not finding Okama ways. Don't ask me how, but I, I'm managing to. Um, and that was like all of our zero cost events as well. So kind of rough there. Um, not the best draws this game, guys, I'm not going to lie. Uh, if we block with this, we'll definitely just be getting the spotted back so we can actually uh, use a counter event. Um, he's not really giving me a spot to use these events right now. Um, okay, he's gonna rest and my dawn. That's kind of rough, not gonna lie. Not like we had a counter event up, but obviously resting my dawn is what I was talking about earlier, which is really, really strong. Um, we'll take the 10 and we will be using that trigger effect, trashing you. Um, we're, we're drawing into all our red rocks. We only run three, but we're drawing all of them. It's really, really bad. Um, he'll draw that, and we will definitely just grab... God, we haven't... <laughs> I, I want to say we want to grab this, just because we want to we want to find next turn. Um, we want to find, what's it called? Uh, Okamaway. He'll go another five, and I will drop another 1k. And at this point in time, I'm going to go ahead and... Hmm, this is a rough turn as well. Because I kind of need to bottom deck everything, which means I can't play in this all Sunday. So I think we're going to go... We're going to go a lead. No, we'll go aboard. Well, no, we'll go lead. We'll go... Oh, he has a blocker. Okay, no, we need to go aboard. Um... Another awkward turn. We're not finding our zero cost events, which we really need in this matchup. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. We finally, barely find an Okama way. Jesus. Um, and we need to leave up more Dawn just in case he has a Hody. So I think we will go. Huh. I need to get these seven cost events out of hand. Yeah, so I'm just going to bottom deck both of these. Um. And then we will be, yeah, I don't really have the luxury to do that. So we're just going to swing 9 at Hody, grab a 2k. Yeah, really rough draws here. Um, maybe I should have played Croc to uh, start cycling out my hand. That could have been a play. It really could have. But, uh, like, if you have another Hody Jones here, I'm kind of just screwed. 
I uh, didn't draw any zeros, so I couldn't get rid of the, get these out of my hand. I um I don't know. I didn't. I did just didn't draw. I didn't draw anything to draw. All right, I'll stop making excuses. <laughs> Um, but at this point, yeah, it's basically he needs Hody Jones. If he doesn't have Hody Jones, we're fine this turn. Uh, we can get down one, two... Okay, he's going to play another Gonfall. This is an interesting card in this deck. I don't think I agree with it, but um, I guess I kind of get it. And with that, he has seven Dawns, so... Hody Jones is still on the table, but I think the fact that he played that means he doesn't have it. Yeah, there's two on lead, so that's going to be an easy 2k, 1k. And then finally we can start drawing off leader effect. So he's going to go, unfortunately, 5k lead, and we don't have the counter, so we actually have to do this. Um, select you as the target, and then we'll draw one. Of course, we don't draw any more counter, so if he actually, you know, he actually, he can swing into this. But if he does, you know, he's not attacking lead, so we'd take it. Um, but if I'm him, I'm probably just swinging to face. Unfortunately. He's definitely thinking about it. Which I probably wouldn't be doing right now. I think I'd just go leader. Um, there is the... He's going to play the Ohm. Which means he's probably has a holy. I don't think he'd play it if he didn't. Yeah, so there's the holy. Which we're probably going to try to remove with this 7 cost event next turn that we also can't draw off of because. Okay, that that was big. We needed that to be a trigger because we're going to have too many cards in hand. And we find the Okama way. Which. God, I mean, I, I need to grab it. But, like. God, it, these turns are just not what you want to see. I'm not getting down to 4 cards in hand, is the issue. So we'll do this. We will draw into. Huh. Probably need to draw into all Sunday. Um, just to get double Okama away. That's our only way to actually survive. Play another one. Draw into a 2k finally. So we can do things with his hand. And then from here. It's all Sunday and swing big, right? So 2k into this guy. Okay, he is at 10k right now, so we'll go 10k to Hody. If he has the counter, sure. Um, which, if I have the counter right now, he looks like he might not. Uh, so in that case, we go three. Um, yeah, we go three. Yeah, because we need a double Okama away, so we'll swing eight here. You know, maybe in the off chance he doesn't have counter, which yeah is isn't really a, a a scenario. So this point, yeah, four bricks in hand is never what you want to see with this deck. So going to have to grab another Okamawe Hodu Hiori here, which I guess is just his way of making use of his two rest of dawn. Um, and if that's a beige, it's going to be pretty hard for us to go for game next turn if we somehow live this. And yeah, there's the Paradise Totsuka resting our all Sunday. So that is rough. Um, and yeah, we don't even get a draw off of this either. But unfortunately, we can choose you as a target, resolve attack, and grab another Okamawe. So we cannot just swing big still. That is one of the best combos with that for sure. Um, okay, I think, I mean, we lose, obviously, but like, I mean, maybe we can, no, I, I don't think there's a way to win this, unfortunately. Select him as a target, we don't get to draw any because these were sitting in our hand all game. Only thing this makes me think is maybe I need to run more zero cost events. Those would definitely do me good. Uh, maybe adding more of those for sure. And that is going to be the video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching the Blue Purple Croc gameplay. This leader is a lot of fun when it works. Um, there's a lot of fun combos that uh, are going to work out too that I don't think people are really trying. Um, 
This deck's really good. Uh, I mean, as you saw, we beat RP Law and we beat Black Purple Luffy, or sorry, Black uh, Black Yellow Luffy, and we managed to lose the Yamato with probably not the best draws, but. Uh, only thing I found that I'd maybe change up is more zero cost events. Um, maybe changing out, uh, maybe one red rock. There's definitely matchups where you need to see this, but you can repeat them off Miss All Sunday, so that's that's something to think about. But anyway, uh, this has been a, I'm probably going to call this a Forgotten Leaders video, um, but hopefully people remember him. I'm going to play this guy in EB, and I'm going to try to get some good results. So wish me luck with that. Uh, this list is a lot of fun. I will have the list in the description for you guys to port right into the sim. But that is going to be the video. You guys have a great day. I'm going to head out of here. Peace.